This video highlights some of the key features in Fixed Point Designer that can help you convert your ideal floating point design to an efficient fixed point design that meets the constraints of your target hardware. Here, I have a sense of fusion algorithm for the inertia measurement unit that's part of a bigger model of a self-balancing controller designed in Simulink in double precision floating point to give us the ideal numerical behavior. Now, if I want to target a microcontroller on one end for thousands of embedded devices or an FPGA for an advanced system, I need an efficient implementation for my target hardware and I will use Fixed Point Designer to this end. The Fixed Point tool helps me explore my design starting with collection of signal range instrumentation data using the double data type override. Now, I can explore if my design can achieve the right behavior within a certain tolerance if I choose a 16-bit word length to target a microcontroller or an 18-bit for an FPGA. I can propose the relevant word length and begin to analyze my signal ranges. I can visualize how the data type fits my design and whether there are potential overflows or underflows as a result of the proposed data type. I can go ahead and apply the proposed data type and simulate the embedded behavior by clicking here. Finally, I can click here to compare the numerical behavior of the ideal floating point design and my proposed embedded implementation. I can compare specific signals to verify that they meet the numerical thresholds. And as you can see here at the bottom plot, the differences due to quantization is within bounds and that the 16-bit word length proposal will satisfy the behavioral requirements. So I have successfully converted my ideal double precision floating point model to a fixed point model with a 16-bit word length.